What's up YouTube? This is John with another episode of Engineering Awesome. Today I want to go over two accessories that I printed for my Glock 19 mags. Let's get right to it. To start things off I do want to let you guys know that I am testing a new microphone that I got. I went ahead and picked up uh, what I think is a, a decent shotgun microphone. I'm kind of experimenting and playing around. Uh, I'll be messing with where I mount it. So make sure that if you guys have any comments on uh, how it sounds that you leave those below uh, and let me know how I'm doing. Uh, I definitely appreciate feedback. I think that the lighting should be pretty decent in this one, but uh, we'll see. You guys are definitely going to be the best judges. So let's get into it. So the first one that I want to go over is this right here. So this doesn't look like a whole lot, but honestly, I thought I might use these as kind of like a business card. Uh, what this is, is actually to help you disassemble your magazine. So what it does is it just slides in there. And if you look pretty closely, you can see that it's got two little uh, extensions basically that go in there. Those fit right underneath there. And then it extends out on the sides at the same points 25 thousandths. So what you do when you slip the mag in here, you clamp this in a vise right there on both sides and that presses in and allows you to pull the base plate off and change it out. Now I've tested this on uh, my green base plate mags that uh, I painted up just so that nobody ended up walking off with my mags and frankly it worked really well it was uh it was a lot better than trying to press it with my fingers and get it out of there it didn't scratch the mags or anything uh, which wouldn't have bothered me anyway but it worked really well so if you guys are interested in that i will be posting it on thingiverse uh, i did get the angle correct in there too so it, it sits nice now the second one is one that i've been meaning to print for quite some time and i'm really happy with how it came out so as you guys can see uh, we definitely are at a, a little bit different view of my home office. So this is my gun safe, and this is the, uh, the 3D printed mag rack that I, I made up. Uh, I made it so it holds five, uh, and they just slip right down in there. So as you can see, this ETS mag, this is a 17 rounder. Uh, the base plate is actually at a different angle, but the rest of these sit great. Um, I've got two 15 rounders in there now. I've got this ETS mag that's a 17 rounder. Uh, it still fits great. And then I've got this ETS 22 rounder. That fits really well as, as well. Um, I don't have any issues with it. Now, with most of these gun safes, it, all they use for the, the fire retardant is drywall. So this is a very cheap safe but it keeps all my stuff locked up. It's very heavy, so it works great. Um, this, just drywall, so I used one inch drywall screws and worked great. I haven't had any issues. It stays on there really good. Um, I had a, a loaded mag in there the other day, which isn't shown here, obviously, uh, and it worked great. I do plan on making a couple of these up uh, for other types of guns. Uh, I've got a Ruger uh, and I'm also going to make it up for 1911. So let me know what you guys think of that too. I will post the links below for both this, my uh, mag disassembly tool, and the mag rack for a thing of ours. So go ahead and download that and let me know what you guys think. I appreciate you watching. I figured I'd go ahead and show you one of my uh, prized rifles. So this is actually a semi-budget M1A. Uh, it's got a Pro Mag stock on it. And... Uh, the optics are typically where you put the money, so it's got a little pulled Mark IV. But uh, I think at some point, I'm probably going to do a video on this. I really love this stock. It's a direct competitor to one of those, those big stock makers. Very affordable, really high quality. It shoots great. So let me know what you guys think of this one, too. Thanks for watching.